Hello, my name is Rex and welcome to my Let's Play of Fallout New Vegas. I'm just gonna go on clicking through these menus. It's it's just the DLCs that are added here and a few mods that I'm using that add a few more things to the game, making its experience a lot better. Unfortunately, it takes a bit too long to do this. I'm just gonna listen to what Doc Mitchell has to say. Gonna gonna play this as a fresh game, like I've never oh, played here. it before. Easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a sec? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Hmm. What name would be good? What name do I think do do do, do you think would be would be a, a good name for a for a career. Although you can't really give me feedback to this, so I'm just gonna go with a name that you, you'll probably enjoy. Uh, we're gonna go John Goodwall. That sounds like a name someone would have, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. Let's go with that. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. And now, welcome. Thank I you. hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around here in your noggin and pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Now, oh, are we a boy or a girl? Well, I think the name would, would be a bit weird on a on a female. John Goodwill doesn't really sound like a name a female would have, so we're gonna have to go male. Uh, we'll make him Caucasian, and let's pick a preset that looks good, because I don't want to do too much fiddling with the face. So we'll just flip through all of them, get a quick look at them, and then decide which one would look half decent. I'm thinking, what was it, seven? No. Uh, skipping there. Three. That looks fine. Nothing much to, to customize. Age? No. We'll keep him young. Uh, hair color. I'm just going to turn it to black. Because that's, that's a good hair color. Looks fine. That's. Oh, we're done. Are you sure? Yes. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that matters. Okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger test of machinery. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. All right. Now, the build I'm going to go for is one I haven't done before, mostly because it, it just goes against what I normally play as. I'm going to try it as a melee character, so I'm, I'm not too sure what the, the special stats would be. So I'm just going to go through it and then pick the ones that, that seem like it'll help with melee. Strength affects melee unarmed, we definitely want that. Perception. Uh, it's alright, but not too much. I don't think we'll need that. Endurance, we've got unarmed, which is good. All of that. Not so much survival, but the rest are what we are looking for, so we'll keep endurance in mind. Charisma, uh, we don't really, we won't need that. Intelligence, now we might want to go to 6 to try get a higher score whenever we level up, which will be help us in the long run because we can get more uh, better at the stats that like guns and such I think we'll need some agility as well to run up and punch or cut the enemy so we'll go with that as well luck it's it does affect all skills but I don't think I'll use it that much so let's see what we've got five skills well, five points to put in. 
So we'll go just put it in the things that we need. So there's four. I'm not too sure on intelligence, but we'll keep one in there. We'll go take seven. AG solder these to four and then just upgrade the rest. What do I want to put it into intelligence? Hmm, it's a tough one. Luck, charisma, perception. I'm gonna put it into strength. Eight, four, seven, four, six, seven, four. That seems alright. Surprised anybody would want to tangle with you. Heck, you could go deathclaw hunting with a switch. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered and big when they drop. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Well, this part of the game doesn't really matter. I mean, I can just click on whatever I feel like clicking on and still have the option to change at the end. I'm going to go through this as though it's it's actually me. And then if, you know, as if I'm actually playing. And then if I don't get the results I need or want, I'll just change it from there. Uh, dog. Let's go newspaper. House. House. Investment. Night. Night will go with shroud. Bandit. Stab. Light. Heavy. Mother. Uh, caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Well, since I'm gonna go around punching people in the face, I have to strongly disagree. Because I'll I am not too sure what the phrasing is, but I'll strongly disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Uh support does help, so I'll disagree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm gonna disagree on that too. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Well, seeing as I'm not using guns, better weaponry, and well, I guess the fists later, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna strongly agree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Hell yes, we're gonna rush right in there and punch a deathclaw in the face and probably run away crying. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Hmm. What do I see? Um, gonna go to two ants. That's what I see mostly. Okay. How about this one? Um. Now what I see here, I see a person with the shadow. But the option's not there, so I'm gonna have to go with. A process piece of art. Last one. Hmm. What does this look like to me? I see a uh, spades, ace of spades, but that's not here. I'll just two bears high five. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Let's hope we at least got a few that we need. Oh, we got melee weapons, unarmed, and barter. Oh, that's that's actually what we need. Although I don't need, need to put barter there. I can move it, but that's fine. I'm going to go with that. Wow. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like that. Expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Alright, let's see what these are. Is that the top? Yes. Band for life. Oh, that's interesting. Two Raider companions. 
can craft easily addicted chems. Fortunately, you can craft them. You either kill fast or die early, both your enemies' damage threshold are reduced by 5. Bolt to destroy. Flame that burns twice as bright. All weapons have plus 3% chance to crit, but degrade 15% faster. Claustrophobia. You have a fear of enclosed spaces. You gain plus 1 to special when outside, minus 1 when inside. Conduit of radiation. You become increasingly irradiated when you are not in an irradiated area. Alternatively, you may remove the radiation when you are in an irradiated area. Uh, it's got its ups and downs. Diabetic. You are careful with food and medicine. Increase in medicine survival by 5. Cover 10 less health from food and medicine. Early bird, plus 2 to each of the stats at 6 to 12, but minus 1 from 6 to 6. Fake physician, receive a uh, medical item set at the cost of karma. Fast shot while using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% quicker, uh, but suffer from accuracy. Four eyes gives you plus one perception with uh, glasses and one negative one without. Glutton, good natured. I'm just gonna go through this quick, uh, heavy handed. Your melee and unarmed attacks do 20% more damage, but 20% less likely to crit. We all will need that because, you know, that's the build we're going for. Uh, how about your target? Marked by a vicious group of mercenaries. Nah. Order 25 pounds carry. Uh, nah. Hot blooded when your health drops below 50%, 10% more damage. Minus 2 agility perception. Mm -mm. No, Kamikaze, you have 10% action point, oh, plus 10 to action points, minus 2 damage threshold. Logan's loophole. Uh, Stare 21 forever. Uh, no, 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 no. Loose cannon, throw faster, less range, near do well. Uh, no, that's, that's bad. Plus 25. Yeah, death experience, your action points only regenerate when you have less life. Uh, Ranger, with a big gun on his hip. Agility increase by one, but take more critical damage from raiders. Skilled, you're skilled but not experienced. Gain plus five in every skill and suffer 10% experience gain. Small frame, plus one to agility. Limbs get crippled easier. Tribal, plus five to unarmored. Uh, we might want to go with that. Trigger discipline or weapons by 20% slow, but 20% more accurate. I'm at a toss up between tribal and skilled. Ah, there it is. <laughs> it's so close. Uh, plus five to everything, minus 10% experience. I think we'll go with that. It's not a, it's not a bad thing that we're suffering from. Just less experience. Just have to do more. That looks fun. Yes, let's do that. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Here, these are yours was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults in made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've oh, been what through. What if Doc Mitchell isn't? I know what it's like having something taken from you. Then put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack of modesty. Never was much my style anyway. I wonder if Doc Mitchell isn't the... Well, there's two things that, that could have happened. Maybe Doc Mitchell is the vault dweller from Fallout 3. Or, or and this is the one I like better, is that you yourself are the vault dweller from Fallout 3. Just doing a mission 
the little run for the Mojave Express. It's something to think, something to think about. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right by. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Oh, we're gonna play in hardcore mode. Yes, we are. Alright. That is bright. And here are just a few mods that I can activate. I'm just going to go around activating all the mods and changing everything quick, so bear with me. Alright, everything's activated, and because some of these mods here give me extra stats on items, I've changed uh, Project Nevada to Hardcore, so that should compensate for the easier difficulty. If we take a look at my special, my skills, everything should be lowered. So we can see... Ah, don't know why that's not. It's very low. But everything is much lower than before. Hopefully, uh, J. Sawyer's mod won't interfere too much. Or won't get overridden too much. Because I hear they can have some issues when trying to run in tandem. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Hmm. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Alright, I'll see you there. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay, sure. I'll, I'll help you. It sounds like fun. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Alright, let's do this. Now, I will be in the next video. I'll be getting a mod that fixes the HUD so that it disappears. Uh, when I'm not needing it. I think it's immersive HUDs that I'll be getting. And then it'll go away and it'll be better. I'm going to just run ahead as much as I can. Now the, the nice thing that Project Nevada adds is the sprint mechanic, which trust me, without it, these the desert of the Mojave is really boring and it's so slow to traverse. You don't get a horse like you do in uh, Skyrim, so there's nothing really to, to help you explore. You do have the quick travel, uh, fast travel, but that doesn't let you explore you know manually so you can't unlock new places with it you can just teleport from place to place oh yeah, we're almost there i wish you ran faster i can walk backwards faster than you come on come on there we go hear that up on the ridge behind me there we got some geckos to clear out bunch of little monsters is what they are seems like doc mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else let's see if we can get a little closer if we move quietly we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Alright. For now, I'll just use the gun, seeing as it's something she recommends that we do. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Now, one thing that I will that'll help you if you're playing this game fresh is if you enter VATS, it'll show you where the enemy is. You can just exit it and then it'll put it right where it is. Ah, it didn't hit me. Thing. Damn it. 
There we go. That's one down. Did I get it? No. Oh, come on. Die already. There we go. That took a while. Now I'm going to swap to my melee weapon quick so I can go around hitting things. Mm. Razor. Let's go with the machete. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. If you want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Alright, I need the caps anyways. I'm recently uh, back from the dead and I need money. So let's do this. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Let's go gecko hunting. Got a nice big knife that'll need. Ah, uh, just quick save there. So, in case you know the difficulty is a bit too much, I'm not too sure what it is, and I don't want to die here. Let's backpedal and cut. Backpedal and cut. Now that that's done, I can help this lady. Just gonna quick save. Hopefully I don't fall and die. There we go. Alright, let's do this. Oh. You like that? Nice. What do you have to say? Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you've done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Oh, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to always help a stranger in need. Now, let's go talk to Sunny Smiles and see what she has to say. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Not it did. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah, it couldn't hurt. Alright then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Hmm, cooking like a certain series on TV? Now that would be something else. Make all the bottle caps just from cooking. In future episodes, I'm gonna be cutting out these trips to and from places that I need to go. I don't think you want to watch me run through the desert. I'm only not doing it now because Good Springs is a smallish area and you can basically throw a stone to where I have to go. Let's just follow the compass and one's pointing towards the school. Let's get ready. Gonna cut me up some praying mantis. Oh yeah, get that Brock flower. Ah, oh, Xander root. Brock flowers up there. Let's go! Yeah, run! Oh, unfortunately, the running uses your AP, which is good and bad, because it all depends on your AP regeneration and what you set the sprint to deplete. But it, it's a nice trade. It takes away something you need to give you something. That's, what's the word? They're not necessary, but it's helpful. Running faster, getting to places faster, exploring. It's all better than just walking. I mean, if I was wearing heavy armor, I'd be running slower than this, but I'm not. So I can run faster, but like I said, sprinting is really the boon to the game. Let's just cut the box copy in. And we're almost there. Deal with these pot flies and hopefully Victor doesn't use his save you from something once off save you from something here. Because that would just be embarrassing. Uh doesn't look like he has. That's good. I can save it for later. Pick up the rock flower. Where'd the shuffle go? 
There's a shovel lying around here somewhere. Maybe it's on the mound. No, no, it isn't. Ah, well, we could have looted the graves. I don't know. I'm trying to pick up the fruit that's on the grave. And normally the graves just contain ammo and nothing too useful. At least whenever I tried to exhume the the grave, nothing interesting came up. Maybe just bottle caps and the occasional nine millimeter ammo. But anyways, wow, they really don't mess around on on this difficulty. It was literally a fall of thirty centimeters, and my guy winced in pain. It's gonna be hard, <laughs> but that's a good thing. That is a good thing. It's a dog. Let's not go up there just yet. Let's finish the tutorial. Unfortunately for me, the AP regen on this character is a lot slower. You know, it's not that I can run infinitely. And the depletion is is decent compared to the regeneration. It's it's about maybe two to one. So I'm just sprinting in bursts because I'm <laughs> don't think I can let that thing get too too high without it taking a bit too long. And the burst sprints make me feel good. Uh, I think my character just made the thirsty noise. So we're gonna drink some water here. <coughs> yeah, he's thirsty. Yeah, you can just sit there and drink. Yeah, it's all better. Now, seeing as that fall nearly like destroyed my legs, I'm gonna take it a lot easier when it comes to falling down things. Pretty sure the fall of that could like kill me. Anyways, I'm here with everything. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. Alright, 